Over the centuries, Vajrayana Buddhists journeyed, in their minds, to visit dazzling pure lands, filled with wondrous enlightened beings. Imagine, now, closing your eyes to meditate on emptiness, and glimpsing none other than Red Tara in her form as Karakula. Karakula, the powerful manifestation of Buddha in a female Buddha form, Red Tara, the magnetizing Buddha of magic and wonder and metta. Join our editor Lee Kane, in this Buddha weekly visualized meditation, as he imagines meeting magical Karakula with a visualization, ending in her mantra. We hope you enjoyed this journey of the mind, up to the Pure Lands to meet none other than Karakula. I invite you on a journey into the mysterious, wondrous, and majestic world of Vajrayana Buddhism. You may find it both familiar and exotic at the same time. Today, instead of an unguided mindfulness session, our mind will take us to a wonderful world where we can glimpse shunyata, emptiness, wisdom, and compassion, all in the form of a beautiful, glowing female Buddha. The first lesson of Vajrayana Buddhism is simply that wisdom and compassion and enlightened Buddhas can appear in any form that suits our minds as a meditative Buddha sitting under a tree, or as a Buddha of infinite light, glorious and majestic, or as a playful Dakini dancing in our mind. All you need to meet such exotic and fantastic Buddhas is to allow your mind to imagine. Take that journey with me now. You are seated in a simple meditation room, settled in a comfortable posture, back straight. Your half-opened eyes are aware of a single flickering candle. You're watching your own mind, as your Rinpoche has suggested, not analyzing, not studying, just watching. You are surprised, though, when your mind goes sometimes at the speed of light, one second here, one second there, you have flashes of your day at work, full of stress. You slap yourself down, then stop yourself. Your teacher had guided you not to control, just to watch. So you watch again, and you watch. And this is why you are startled when your half-closed eyes glimpse a wondrous form, a dancing red form, a playful, stunningly beautiful female Buddha. She seems both wrathful and laughing at the same time. She spins and dances in a dervish of brilliant light, dazzling and hypnotic. She is dancing at the edge of emptiness, glowing with light, fantastical, beautiful, dazzling. And you know her because you've seen her in books. Your teacher has spoken of her briefly. She is Tara, the female aspect of the Buddha. But here, semi-wrathful, playing and exotic, all at the same time, her three eyes, yes, she has a third eye, open at her forehead, is focused on you, piercingly. Yet you see her glowing light, her blessing light, pushing out in all directions, absorbing into all beings, going out into all worlds, dimensions, and times. She's not just here for you. You know this because her blessings are absorbing into everyone around the world, everyone in the entire universe, all beings. Her blessings are for everyone. Her name is Kula Kula. She is also Red Tara. She is equally all Taras. She is also all Buddhas all at once. She is also magic personified. She knows we all need a little magic in our lives, so she dances into our meditations in the form of a dancing magician. She does this because she knows life becomes too dry and numbing and absence of joy and magic. This is, in part, her mission. She returns us to the euphoric joy of Buddha Dharma. For today, we can put aside our mindfulness practice and focus on the magic of her appearance. We can return to wonder. She sees that you are afraid of her, startled and shocked and disbelieving, and she laughs at you, flashing fangs and white teeth, but not ferocious more playful and charming. 
This aspect she has manifested is one of the diva star, beautiful like a movie star, alluring, impossible to look away from, and that is her magnetizing power. She is one of the beautiful people who uses her charm and charisma and stunning looks to draw you in. You don't resist because you know you are being drawn into the wisdom of compassionate activity. She applies her popularity and stunning looks to the Dharma cause, bodhicitta, metta, and compassion. She's all about love. She's also sparkling with magic. She is glowing with light, not flesh and blood. And she's blazing like a red sun. She holds a bow and arrow, drawn back like Cupid. But her bow is made of magical lotus flowers. Whatever she pierces with that lotus magic will feel the power of metta, of love, and compassion, Karuna. For that is her mission. She is dancing so fast, flying in the air, a cyclone of magic and power. As a Dakini, she dances on the edge of Shunyata. Her power is to attract, magnetize, mesmerize. But her mission is an enlightened one. She draws us irresistibly to the Dharma. Yes, she is known as the love goddess in Vajrayana Buddhism. But this nickname and function is not other than a skillful means to draw us into the Dharma. Her flowery bow and arrow is aimed at bodhicitta and enlightenment. She is also known as the magic Buddha, the grantor of wishes. Yet this too is skillful means. By bringing us blessings and happiness, we have the circumstances conducive to Dharma practice without the stress, but don't mistake her wish-granting for some unenlightened magician. There is a price to pay. You must stay on the path of bodhicitta, metta, and wisdom. Buddha Dharma You can't take your eyes off her glowing red body, a brilliant light, red like the setting sun in the west. Her three eyes are semi-wrathful yet beautiful. Her hair stands straight up, energized by power. Two of her four hands draw a floral bow, the blessings of Metta and Karuna. In her other two hands she holds a Vajra hook, which you instinctively know is to hook you in, to draw you back into her compassionate arms, and a lasso, also made of red uptala flowers. And now you find yourself whispering her mantra over and over. Om Kuru Kule, Hum Three Swaha. Om Kuru Kule, Hum Three Swaha. Om Kuru Kule, Hum Three Swaha. And as you chant the mantra quietly, her light grows stronger. As it absorbs into you, you feel supported. You feel her love. You feel her magnetizing power drawing you in. You are mesmerized. Her power energizes you. You feel loved. You are loved. You feel the metta and the love of all the Buddhas, for she is just one aspect of all the Buddhas. And that same light is going out to all beings everywhere. Red, hot light absorbing into all beings everywhere. As she sends out her boundless love for all beings, your enemies and friends equally absorb her metta and kindness. You see all beings of the universe now surrounding you on all sides, behind you, in front of you, above you, below you. Your enemies are there, criminals are there, animals are there, reptiles are there, snakes are there, politicians are there, prideful people are there. Also there are all your friends and your relatives. The kind people and the generous people are there. Nuns and monks are there. Bodhisattvas are there. All the Taras are there. 21 Taras, 108 Taras, 1008 Taras. All the Taras, all the Buddhas, all the Gurus of the past and the present and the future are there. And you know that all of these beings surrounding you at one time due to the endless continuity of time and rebirth, have, once upon a time, been your mother. And all of the beings who are surrounding you are receiving, are receiving Kulukula's, Kulukula's magnetizing, magnetizing love, love and, power. and power. 
and now everyone is chanting her mantra. Kudukule in the mantra is pronounced Kudukule. In her name, it's pronounced Kudukula. 108 repetitions of Kudukula's mantra. This mantra is pronounced Om Kudukule Hum Sri Swaha. Om, Om Kudukule Hum Sri Swaha. Om, Om Kudukule Hum Sri Swaha.
Buddha Weekly in the next in this series of visualized meditations into Buddhism, with glimpses of the timeless wisdom of the Buddha. If you enjoyed this presentation please subscribe. Please consider supporting our mission Spread the Dharma on Patreon at patreon.com slash Buddha Weekly. Thank you. Buddha Weekly, helping to spread the Dharma. Thank you.